Hello people. Welcome back to our channel. I am Michael, and today I will take you to another European country, Armenia. Armenia is a name you don't often see in travel itineraries. A country with an intriguing past and a culture so rich that it may put several other popular nations to shame. Armenia is a hidden gem. It is located between Asia and Europe. Home to four UNESCO World Heritage Sites, Armenia makes a considerable amount of money via tourism. Around half a million people visit the country annually, with most tourists coming from Russia, Georgia, Europe, Iran and the United States. Its medieval monasteries and breathtaking landscapes are what make Armenia a land worth exploring. The capital city of Yerevan is a marvelous spot for all kinds of travelers and provides a window to Armenian history, culture and architecture. Armenia was the first country in the world that adopted Christianity as a state religion. It happened in 301 AD, with the assistance of Gregory the Illuminator and Armenian King Tridat III. The country began the destruction of pagan temples and the construction of Christian churches. The very first was the Ikmyadzin Cathedral, which became the first Christian cathedral in the world. You can see this magnificent creation in the town of Ikmyadzin, the religious center of all Armenians. Today, religious monuments of Christianity can be seen everywhere throughout Armenia. Look out for their majestic medieval architecture, which, juxtaposed against the striking surrounding landscapes, create a spectacular sight. It's impossible to visit the capital of Armenia, Yerevan, without noticing its magnificent natural landmark, Mount Ararat. This emotive and awe-inspiring mountain is beautiful in any season. Traditionally, Mount Ararat was the symbol of the motherland for all Armenians, and it remains so today. Ararat is known as a biblical mount, as it was mentioned in the Bible during the story of the Great Flood. According to the tale, Noah's Ark stopped exactly on the mount and after a while, he settled in the Ararat Valley with his family. Despite the fact that Ararat is visible from many parts of Yerevan, for the most beautiful view it is best to climb to the top of the Cascade, or go to the observation area in Victory Park. For a truly breathtaking view, drive out of Yerevan to the Monastery of Korvirap, where you will feel like you can almost touch the mountain. You can get to the one of the most magnificent creations of medieval Armenian architecture, Tatef Monastery, by a ropeway, which happens to be the longest in the world with a prox length of 5.8 kilometers, or 3.6 miles. Not one for those with a fear of heights, as you'll find yourself walking at 320 meters above the picturesque gorge of the river Verotan for 12 minutes. At the end of the journey, you arrive at a unique monastery, built in the 9th-13th centuries. Armenian cuisine is one of the oldest in Europe, and the oldest in the South Caucasus. The dishes here are diverse and delicious thanks to the use of lots of spices, herbs, and wild flowers. In Armenia, and especially in Yerevan, there are many traditional restaurants offering a great choice of local dishes. To start with you can order spas, a creamy and low-calorie soup, prepared from fermented Armenian yogurt. For the second, try Armenian meatballs or tolma. Also make sure to try juicy barbecue or horovats, as locals say. Its preparation is a real ritual in which, according to traditions, only men take part. As a snack, sample the white Armenian cheese and bostama, dried meat with spices. You can wrap this in lavish, Armenian national pitta bread included in the UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage List. For dessert, the best choice is the Armenian gata, a puff pastry that melts in your mouth. Due to the mountainous terrain and favorable climate, Armenia is a great place for extreme sports. In recent years, it has become especially popular for paragliding. The places to fly in Armenia are diverse and picturesque with predictable macrometeorology. In summer, you can also enjoy widespread trekking and hiking. 
Tourists often choose to go climbing in Mount Aragats, the highest point of Armenia which is 13,420 feet. In winter, the country has excellent conditions for ski and snowboard lovers. The most popular ski resort is Akadza, which has a four-speed chairlift, equipped with modern and safe technology and more than a dozen well-equipped ski slopes. In comparison to other European destinations, Armenia is a great alternative place to ski, with equipment available at affordable prices. There is an old Armenian saying, a guest is a gift from God. On any occasion of joy or happiness, Armenians are quick to set the table for relatives and friends. Armenians also warmly welcome foreigners and want to do everything to make them feel comfortable in their homeland. Many tourists point out that nowhere else have they seen such hospitality as in Armenia. Do not be surprised if during your trip complete strangers invite you to their home and treat you to a variety of different goodies. And it is very likely that at the end of your journey you will make good Armenian friends who will be waiting for your return to their beloved homeland. Armenia is an incredible destination for pilgrims and tourists alike. I had an extraordinary time there. My Armenia trip was truly one of the best in my life. Sure, there were a lot of things about Armenian culture that were very different than America, but I found everything fascinating and surprisingly comfortable. Again, thank you for watching. And if you like what you saw, like share and consider subscribing to the channel. Let me know what what other travel destinations you would like me to cover in the comments section.